Welcome everyone. Today we are going to discuss some of the ways, some of the simplest ways of imputing the missing values. So let us begin with what is a missing value. A missing value is actually an unrecorded or deleted observation from the data set. It is unrecorded probably because the respondent did not respond to a particular question in a questionnaire and it is deleted because probably the data or the value that is recorded does not fit to our data. In other words, it's not consistent to the variable. In the variable lakes, we have two such values which are, uh, which are either, uh, either not recorded or is deleted from the data set. And in the variable y, we have got one such observation. And these are what we call a missing value. A missing value is simply denoted by the symbol NA stands for not available or not applicable. Now there are some problems that we face when missing values are present in our data set. Now suppose that I want to calculate some statistics based on the variable legs. Suppose for simplicity I want to calculate x bar. So there are seven observations, so I will take one by seven multiplied by say 135 plus 166 plus NA. I got no idea that what this value is plus 128 plus again uh, NA plus 125 plus 142. Now the problem where the problem that becomes while we are trying to sum this sum all this observation is that we got two observations that are completely unknown to us and so this entire sum actually depends on these two observations had these two uh, had these two any values been known then there would have no problem in calculating this sum now since this entire thing this entire arithmetic operation actually depends on these any values the answer that we actually get is another NA not applicable. Now try to understand that whatever arithmetic operation we do with this NA values say 5 plus NA we get another NA this is because I don't know what this value is so I'm adding 5 to some unknown values so the result is definitely unknown for example if I know this NA so if I know this NA to be 5 so 5 plus 5 will give us 10 if I know this NA to be 100 then we get 105. However, since I got no idea that what this NA value actually is, the result actually turns out to be another NA. One of the easiest way of dealing with missing values when present in the data is to take only those cases that are actually complete. For example, uh, by a complete case we mean that all the values in one particular case is filled up. Now for your information each of the rows in the data set is called uh, an observation or a case. Okay so write that observation or cases and so I'm going to consider only those cases that are complete. For example this one all the values are filled up so this case is complete this one is a complete case this one is not a complete case because it contains a missing value so is this one and this one again these two cases are the complete cases so out of the seven cases that we have in this entire data set we are actually retrieving only the five cases that are complete so the data set that we have extracted out of this original data set is actually a data set of complete observations and devoid of all missing values. So this won't restrict us to calculate any of the statistics such as mean, median or mode or standard deviation or whatever it is. But this is going to be 1 by 4 multiplied by 135 plus 166 plus 125 plus 144. And so this will give us actually a value, not an NA. Although complete cases is one of the easiest way to deal with the missing values, but still it has some disadvantages. For example, consider this data set. The data set contains a total of 9 observations of which 5 are incomplete cases. That is 5 cases of the 9 cases contains missing values. 
so if I want to consider only the complete cases so we are extracting four cases out of the nine cases the problem that becomes is that see uh, in this particular case the third case we have one missing value over here however all the values all the other values in this case are recorded so because of this one value in this entire cases being missing makes the entire entire case as an incomplete now therefore what what, what is happening is that we are lo losing the information on the other variables present in this entire case okay and same for this one and here we have two cases which are missing and therefore we are deleting the entire case one thing that we can do is to try to find out a way to impute these missing values that is try to find out a way to replace this NA value with some figures say uh, 15 uh, so that so that this case now becomes a complete case and we don't have to delete this entire case for this one missing value uh, and so we don't lose information on the one of the recorded observation or the other recorded observations in that particular case now when we're talking about simple missing value imputation the first thing that comes to our mind is a mean imputation the mean imputation uh, means that we're imputing these NA values with the arithmetic mean of the rest of the observations present in the data set the second one of course is the median imputation uh, the median the in the median in case of the median imputation the idea is kind of the same except this time that we will be using median in place of mean that is if I want to replace this impute for this missing value then what I am going to do is that I am going to replace this missing value with the median of the rest of the observations. Now often an important question arises if I have some missing values in my data set and I want to impute the missing value using some simple missing value imputation method then which one shall I use the mean imputation method or the median imputation method well I think that for imputing the missing value with mean by mean or by median it's important that we should have a look at the distribution of the variable for example consider the variable X uh, if the distribution of the variable X so if I get a histogram which is of say fairly symmetric then probably the mean imputation will give a better result now suppose that I compute, uh, I plot the histogram of, for the variable X and it turns out to be somewhat very skewed over here and of course the mean being affected by the extreme values will tend to drag towards the extreme values and so mean will be somewhere over here but the median will be still uh, somewhere lying in the middle so in that case median imputation is likely to give a better result now we can also use the most frequent observation or the mode to impute the missing values and that depends on the nature of the variable for example if I have a variable uh, that contains the record of shoe size then probably I would like to replace the missing values with the most frequent shoe size uh, sizes that is occurring in my data set or suppose that you are maintaining a record of transportation fare and some of the values are missing in that probably would like to replace those values with the most frequent uh, transportation fares that you have observed in the data set so these are some of the simplest ways of imputing missing values and we will learn more about missing value imputations in the upcoming videos thank you